Good day everyone, welcome back to BST African Electronics Surgery and we have this job. This job is coming from a local computer repair shop. And uh, the story with this laptop is very sad. This is Lenovo. Let me see the model. It's Lenovo. Lenovo G500. Uh, the laptop... According to the owner explanation, the laptop was coming on with picture but no light, some kind of backlight issue. And he sent it to another computer repair shop and they said, you know, here we have a fault screen, but it's, the screen is out of stock. So you can pay, we order the screen for you. They ordered the screen, the laptop didn't work. After payment of a new screen, still the laptop is coming on. But uh, we only have picture, but no backlight. So, yeah, the customer was very disappointed. I spent my money for nothing. They couldn't refund me my money. The laptop is still at the same state. So, that's the situation here. So, let's plug the power supply. Let's increase to 20 volts. 20 volts. Power supply plugged is taking 16 129. Okay. Pressing the power. It's now taking 700 milliamps. 770. 780. But we have nothing on the screen. We have nothing. The laptop is now on. We can confirm with these LEDs here. You can see the LED for charging and power on. But we have nothing on the screen. I can see some faint writing here. But we don't have light. So let's power on again. Maybe we can see something. On. The laptop is on. Yeah, it is writing there, but we have nothing on the screen. We have something, we have writing on the screen, but we don't have light. I explained many things how we are fixing the bed light. Let's take out the battery. I explained these things so many times. So many times. So, uh, the way how the screen is working, the way how the screen is working, the way how the screen is working, we have the motherboard here. On the motherboard, we are concerned with the EC chip. That's the EC chip. And here, we have a screen ribbon cable which is coming from the motherboard. That's the motherboard to the LED screen. Light emanating diode. So here, we have important voltages and signals. We have 19 volts. We have another one for 3.3 volts. Mostly, if we check on the screen side, we have a fuse here, which is which is uh, connected on the 19 volts power line. That is if we are using the battery voltage, the, the, the charger voltage. If it's the battery, here it won't be 19. We have something like 10 to 12 volts, depending on the battery voltage. So here we have another fuse on the 3.3 volts power line, straight from the startup chip. And we have two signals here, which are coming straight from the EC chip. Uh, can be PWM and the BL on backlight on and uh, these signals one is to power on the screen and the other one is to adjust brightness so 
if you have picture but no light, uh, can be anything. You know the back glass is being caused, can be water damage, can be anything which is causing. But you have to check these signals. You have to check for 19 volts for 3.3. And you have to check this. You have, most, case, most cases, you have some test points here which are managing these signals. And these signals, they are all connected to 3.3 volts. We must have 3.3 volts there. So, that's the story about the backlight. If you didn't understand this short, like brief, brief explanation, you have to go back. I made uh, so many videos on how the, the LED screens are working. Okay? So here, what we want to do, let's concentrate on the screen side. Let's concentrate on the screen side. What is it? If we have backlight, we must start by looking on the screen to see what voltages are there and which voltages are missing. That is the important thing. Hmm? That's the important thing here. So, they thought that by changing screen, the backlight will come back. No, it won't. Because that signal is coming from the startup chip. Maybe if you change the motherboard, that can solve the problem. Not changing the screen. So, they went on the wrong direction. But today we'll learn something. We'll learn something today. On diagonizing the the light issue on motherboards. Okay. So that the screen here. Here we have the the screen ribbon cable which is coming from the motherboard. Let's disconnect this. Let's connect back the screen. Maybe it wasn't inserted properly. Yeah, that can cause like missing signals. The laptop coming on with picture but no light. Now let's let's plug in the charger, the power supply on. You can see change of current. That means the motherboard is now on. But still, we don't have light. Still don't have light. Let me put my phone on the back of the screen. Maybe you can see something on the screen. You see the writing? Maybe you can't, but it is writing there. We have some kind of writing there. Okay, let's let's check out this plastic thing. Let's connect back the screen ribbon cable. Plug in the charger, the power supply, power on. It's taking 700 something. Now, let's check some signals here. Let's check for... Here, we have the metal thing here. We can take ground from here or from the connector itself. We do have a fuse here. Here it is a fuse, 19 volts. After the fuse, we do have 19. Here we have another fuse here, which I believe that the fuse for 3.3, 3.6. After the fuse, 3.10. Okay. And now is that moment to search for those signals. 
Where are my signals? Here we have the inverter chip. You can see that inverter chip. And here, 19 volts. 19 volts. We have 19. Fourteen volts. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen volts. We have PWM here. Three point twenty seven. We have another one PL on zero volts. Now you see. Exactly what I told you. So, the other signal has got 3.3 .3 and the other one has got 0. So, I'll short these test points together. I can't see anything. I can't see anything here. Okay. So, I, I will show you under microscope. Let's power on. Let's go under microscope. And check few things together. Let's go under microscope. Microscope. Let's go on a microscope. One second. Let's see now. So what do we have here? We have those two signals. You can see PWM here, which is coming from this resistor. And we have BL on, which is coming also from these resistors. And we have that fuse for 19 volts, which we checked. This one. That, that, that's a fuse here. That's a fuse, and we have 19 volts. And we have another one for 3.3. .3. This one. So... Can you see the signals? Huh? Can you see those signals here and here? So what I would do uh, this BL on is missing and here we have 3.3. .3. So I'm going to short these these two test points to straight to 3.3 .3 volts. Uh that's the only way. That's the only way how we can treat this situation. So let's do it. Let's do it. We do have a resistor here. I'll short this like that. Straight to 3.3 .3 volts. Straight to 3.3 .3 volts on that fuse. Huh? Just like this. And uh, here. Because that signal is missing from the startup chip. If you have time, you can go ahead to replace the EC chip. If you have time.
But here I don't have time to trace where that signal is missing. What's really taking place here? But all what I need to do, I want to see this laptop working again. That's all what I want to see. I want to see Yeah, this was a very angry customer. You know that the importance of putting the right diagnosis. If you can't, if you don't know uh, how to fix certain problem, why can't you just refer? Hmm? Why can't you just refer to the next repair shop? Huh? Insulation by what glue? Why can't you just refer? And here, insulation again. Why can't you just refer if you can't know what to do? Huh? Let's see now. Let's see now. What's going on on the screen? Do you have picture? Let's see now. Let's see now. Uh, after shorting the signals, let's see now. Plug in the charger. What? Do you have a fault screen? Yeah. The screen is still fault. You can see the crack here. It displayed white at first. But uh, at least you understand how you can fix the backlight problem. Now we have light. We now have light. So those signals, uh, one for the PWM to power on and the, the other one to adjust the brightness. One was having 3.3 .3 and the other one was having like zero volts. So I jumped those two uh, test points to 3.3 .3 volts power supply. And we now have backlight. So that's the importance of doing the right diagnosis. Because if you do the wrong diagonal, that can cost the customer. Just imagine the customer bought a new screen. But in this case, I think it's worth it. I'll communicate with the customer. I believe this is the old screen. So I'll talk with the customer. You bring the new screen and you put the new screen here instead of putting this one. Well, this one, you can see even these vertical lines. But the main issue of this video was how you can diagonalize the light issue when you have picture but no light it's all about backlight circuits on a, or on laptops hmm? so i'll stop this video now like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell if you want to get more info about how the backlight is working uh, you can go on the channel on the playlist i think there's a beginner area there i explain everything about lcd screens led screens so see you on the next one bye